Hi, boys and girls. Today we're going to read the text, Learn About Maps, by Susan LaBella. The first thing I'll do is I'll add my name to the very top, because I don't want to forget that. So I'm adding my name. Make sure you add your name as well. And then I'm going to add the date. Now, the date that I recorded this is actually the first day of November. So today is 11 one 15. So I've added that at the top. And then as I read, you can follow along on your paper or you can watch the screen. I'm going to use my laser pointer, which means that you're going to be able to see where I'm pointing and where I'm reading. So please use your finger and follow along and use those reading strategies as I'm reading. So learn about maps. Let's see, that's where we're gonna start. First thing I'm gonna do is look at the picture to find out if that gives me any clues. Now, some of you may have seen this picture before and know what this means on a map, and some of you may have seen it for the first time. The story is called, the text is called, Learn About Maps. Maps are pictures of places. Special drawings on maps help people use them. A compass rose is a symbol found on maps. It shows directions. The compass rose has four main points. One point shows which way is north. Another shows south. Other points show east and west. So it says one shows north, south, east, and west. Looking at this picture, it looks like this one shows north, south, east, and west. So this must be a compass rose. I'm going to actually write that because I'm going to want to remember that. That that is a picture, a symbol for the directions. Let's go to the next paragraph. A map key, a map key is a box with pictures and words. The words tell what a picture stands for. The word city may be next to a dot. The word forest may be next to a tree. The map key shows people what the drawings on the map mean. You may have read the story already called All About Maps and we read some pages that had symbols on them. They had apartments, and they had houses, and they even had a map symbol called a forest. If you haven't read that book yet, take a look, and it will help you better understand what a map key is. Now, we can, you can choose to read this text again, but I want you to think about what the main topic is. What was this text all about? Write it here on this line. If you need more space, you can go down to the second line and continue your sentence. The main topic. Remember, the main topic is what the text is all about. Now, as I scroll up, you'll see that the next thing you're going to work on is two key details you learned. Remember, a key detail is something important or an important fact that you learned from the book. It can't be something that you've made up or that doesn't happen in the text. It has to come right from the story. You can use the story to help you find things. You can go back in and look for sentences that are important details that you learned. Write both of those details on the lines below. There's space for you to write one sentence here and space for you to write one sentence here. If you run out of space, you can turn the page over and finish on the back. So you will have enough space for you to write your complete sentence. Remember, good writers always write in a complete sentence. So make sure your sentence has a capital letter and a period at the end and finger spaces in between. Good luck. I know you'll do great.